Italy, home of fine wine, great football players, beautiful art, and the inspiration for a bunch of movies, novels, and board games, such as Barona Twist. Barona Twist is one of the three games I got from Mind Fitness Game to make an unboxing video. It will be available at Essen. If you go to Essen, make sure to check out Mind Fitness Games booth and play Dorshonsky Yosef's Verona Twist. The cover of the box promises a deduction game because the female character, I guess she is the princess, is dressed in a robe and has a mask. I think that this will be another character in the game. And we can see a guy staring at her. I think that the guy is in love with her because she has a rose in her hand. Now the box reminds me of another famous game, Love Letter. Maybe because both boxes have a female character on their cover. I love it when the components are depicted on the box. We can see a game board here. Tokens near the map, on the board, cards and other tokens which look like money. I don't know if money will be involved in the game or not. Barona Twist has the same size as Kinky, so the two will fit nicely next to each other. We are greeted by the rules, English, German, French, Romanian and Hungarian. These are quite short, only two pages. How to win. Verona Twist is a battle of wits between Juliet's nurse and father Capulet. Okay, so one will play the nurse and the other the father. And the nurse wins if Romeo and Juliet's identity remains hidden for seven rounds. So those weren't money markers, those were round markers. And Capulet must discover their identity before it is too late. And I can see that each character moves in a different way. So there are six characters, the princess, the prince, the noble, the servant, the bishop, the friar. Now this reminds me of another mind fitness game title, uh, Six Making. If you haven't played it, do play it. It's really easy to learn, hard to master, and it is such an intelligent game. Next up, tokens. And you can see that the different characters are all paired up. The princess and the prince, the bishop and the prince, and so on. I think that the father will have to eliminate the different pairs. Oh, the characters. Here are the six characters, and you might notice that they are painted from head to toe. On the back side of these character tokens, you can find two characters, Romeo and Juliet, reaching for each other. Nice touch. These tokens come out really easily and they are thick. So three more pairs and here you can see the round markers. I think that these will come on top of each other and then you have the seventh round and then go to the sixth and to the fifth and so on. Wow, the map looks like a puzzle. It feels like it is foil stamped. I got to love this material because if you spill anything on it, nothing happens. It has a really cool insert and these shapes like have holes so you can easily take out the different components and these will form a map. I have been told by the author Dorshonsky Yosef that the inspiration for the game board was the Piazza di Signori. So if you have been there you might find this game board familiar. It is comprised of four by five uh, squares. The players will move on these. We are left with the tokens, which I have been told have a great quality. Oh, have you heard that? Now these remind me of a game that I have only good memories of, Rummy. I used to play it with my grandmother. The, the, the shape, the shape goes in and then it's colored. On the other side it has a little X. We have six tokens for the six characters and these these are 
these are thick they remind me of the insect pieces from hive and those are made of a really really durable material they feel like poker chips now let's see how this all fits in the insert left is to find someone, maybe my fiance, and play the game. I'm so glad that Mind Fitness Games reached out to me and gave me th this copy of the game to unbox it and play it. If you go to Essen, make sure to check out their boot, free the people from there and play Verona Twist for yourself. My name is Oli and you have been watching Oli Plays A Lot. Until next time, bye bye!